right yeah, here. Five, and so it's a basically a swallow dive. In, I'll in, let you win into, here. Into, into, the, into the tape, <laughs> and that sort of fling. <laughs> Tokyo 1964, the honour of carrying the New Zealand flag into the stadium, was given to Peter Snell. He'd established himself as an international track star. Following his gold medal, he'd broken the world records for 800 metres, the half mile and the mile. In Tokyo, I'm expecting to win. Um, and, uh, the expectation of myself is that I, I should win. I'm the world record holder. I deserve to uh, um, no one else has approached the times that I have. It's just a question of, uh, you know, do I still have it? And I wasn't absolutely sure, and you're never sure when you come out of season to, uh, to perform like this. For the 800 metres, Snell may be favourite, but he still employs the crouch start. But what also sets him apart is his experience, power and ice-cool composure. I was always in control in the Tokyo race, and in Rome I felt I was, I was out of control. I was supposed to make my move and I couldn't do it. Um, now, in Tokyo, I was supposed to make the move in the same place, but found myself horribly boxed, and I was capable of allowing the field to go right by, going around from the back, and I couldn't have done that in Rome. In Rome it was exhilaration, in Tokyo it was relief. And I'm supposed to do this, I'm glad it all worked out. Next up for Snell, the 1500 metres, a distance over which he was a complete novice. Also racing that day was fellow Kiwi John Davies. He was another athlete in the field. But uh, I knew what he was capable of, and he knew what I was capable of. And I think if you see the race, we both reflect what our strengths are. Went to Great Britain, attending the view of the moment, run out of front. Came down the middle of the back straight, here's Peter Snell going out into the front. Followed by John Davies, run out of Holland. Now out by three, four yards, now from John Davies. And it's Snell now by seven or eight yards. Seven or eight yards now over. Lips of Great Britain, Davies of New Zealand. Davies. Davies. Peter Snell had won his third Olympic gold medal. John Davies finished third for the bronze. I was not the first New Zealander to have won the 1500 metres, and so so that was that was a nice touch. I, I liked the idea of a, a New Zealand tradition. I think we had quite a good tradition of miling already developed. The greatest delight that I had was for Peter Snell, because to win two medals in the 800 and the 1500 and double up is just a superb performance and uh, if you look at the film no doubt as you have seen Snell was just so dominant in that 1500 meters over the last 300 meters of it. And I guess we all knew that that's the strength that he had but on that day he was absolutely superlative.